Well, many of us work out to stay fit, but it can be frustrating when we're not sure if we're doing the exercise properly. And with us this morning is our two news fitness expert, Wes Cole, to answer all of our fitness questions. Good morning, Good morning. Wes. We appreciate you having you here. Our first question is from Jill today, and she says, can I gain muscle on a vegetarian diet? Well, of course you can, but I tell people all the time <clears throat> that a vegetarian diet is not something you can wean. You definitely have to get more educated. You have to, you know, read up on it. If you don't want to read up, contact a registered dietitian. I've seen the positive of a vegetarian diet. I've also seen the negatives. It's it's not something, it's, it's harder to mess up just a well-balanced diet if you decide to start, you know, eating a little bit healthier. But vegetarian, you have to make sure you, you're combining the right foods. Most important aspect when it comes to vegetarian diet is making sure you're getting an, enough of the amino, proper amino acid profile to make sure you're healing properly. When you kind of exclude a food group like that, you want to make sure that you're doing it correctly. But some of the strongest, some of the fittest people I know are vegetarians. So you can do it right, but it takes a little bit more <laughs> you know, education. Make sure you can consult someone and, and, and do it good. But yeah, it definitely can be included in a proper... So it's proper not diet. as simple as just, just cutting out meat. Say, okay, yeah. You <laughs> A lot of people think that, you know, vegetarian means, well, okay, just nachos, you know, and, you know, and, and french fries. Yeah. So there's more to it than that. But I guarantee if you focus and kind of commit a little bit and educate yourself, it could be a very healthy aspect. All right. Well, thanks, Wes. Our next question is, squats put a lot of stress on my back. What can I do to help this? This is from Steve. A lot of the times when I see people that have issues doing just barbell squats or even single leg squats, like, you know, like lunges, oftentimes... If you're, especially if you're kind of out of shape, your glutes, your, your butt muscles, they actually get to where they don't fire properly, which means you're actually not even using your, your it's almost like your, your glute muscles forget the flex. And this right here is a great way I get all my beginners on this. And we don't do a whole lot of heavy squatting until they can do about 15 to 20 reps of this. It's just kind of a, a glute lift. And you can see it's forcing Beth to really isolate her glutes, getting okay. her hamstr hamstrings. And you'll be real surprised. Oftentimes, if you're kind of out of shape, you get on this and it feels like you're your glute muscle isn't even really firing properly. And, but you just with a little bit of practice, you'll get to where that nervous system becomes a little bit more efficient at firing properly. And um, I wouldn't do any type of heavy squats until you can do at least 15 or 20 reps of these. It's a real good kind of safety thing. It's definitely a part of my assessment. Oh, and wow. um, it'll, it'll definitely work. And it's also a great exercise too. You know, if you've had back issues and you can't do squats at all, this is a great exercise. Yeah, Thank and you, it's something you can do at home. Yes, absolutely. In between going to the gym, maybe. <laughs> there we go. All right, which is about our next question. I want to join a gym, but I feel so intimidated. Can I just work out at home? This one's from Suzanne. I think I know the answer to this. Well, you know, I hear this a lot, and I talk a lot about in my book, you know, about the, the sometimes the dangers of home, home workouts. It's sometimes, for many people, it's very hard to stay you know, committed on a home gym workout. Um, all the products that we resell, all the fitness equipment that just ends up being fancy coat racks proves that. You know, I would highly recommend going out and shopping, spending some time, you know, to look for a gym. There's all types of gyms. And the great thing about Tulsa is we have some, f some fabulous gyms of all different types, whether you're a serious weightlifter, you're a serious athlete, and you kind of need, you know, kind of that, you know, a little, bit, a little bit of push to, you know, kind of a little bit more calm. You, they're out there. Just, you know, take some time, you know, sit off the side a couple of weeks and really go out and shop and, and find out what's right for you. But I highly recommend getting out of the house. I know it's intimidating. I know it's scary, but I guarantee I think you'll see results better. Well, you know, and we are live out at the Biggest Loser casting call, and it's probably difficult for a lot of those people there. They may not be, um, they may feel embarrassed, and yes. they don't want to go out to the gym. But you're saying it really is the best way to get you working. And remember, every good trainer knows that that's the hardest thing for people to do is to step in a gym, and they, and they know that. And especially if it's a good gym, you know, they'll be there to support you and help you out. All right. Well, thank you so much, Wes. We appreciate all your tips. You. If you have a question you'd like Wes to answer, you can go to our Facebook page, KJRHTV, and post it on our wall. You can also call Wes at 749-0960 or just visit his gym on 46 just east of Sheridan.